Well, because of his high results, Gagarin was further selected for an elite training group known as the Sochi Six, who would make up the first cosmonauts of the Vostok program. Sochi, they did an Olympics there eventually. Yeah, the Winter Olympics, yeah. Mm, look at you. Yeah, I know them. I know some things. I know them. <laughs> uh, these six had even more intense training. They're no longer chumps. They've now done... How 50, many jumps? 55. I don't know, I'm guessing. Now they're doing some downhill slalom skiing. When's the jump from chump? Let me just tell you that they, they really earned their spots here. The six finalists were also the six shortest men of the group. I agree. Space being at a premium on a ship. So <laughs> Why didn't they just do that from the I beginning? Know. Why did you interview 200 people? In there and they just went... These six will do. <laughs> Line up in high order. You six, come with me. They, they, the whole room is full of everyone. Like they start calling them out one by one, and people are like, at first, going, "Oh yes, I made it." By the six, are like, "Hang on a second. I think I see what's happened here." <laughs> it's like this isn't because I got a shit personality. <laughs> Sergey is like six foot eight in the corner crying. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> I could go on himself. Is he a, a vampire? He's a vampire for some reason. Uh, yeah, as all tall people are. Get away from me, you freaks. I want to go to space. <laughs> Vampires also do very well without oxygen. Hmm. Do they? Yeah, they don't need to breathe. They're dead. They're undead. Are they? Are they is that zombies? I'm pretty sure vampires aren't alive. Mm. Am I wrong here? Seems a bit prejudiced or something. <laughs> Oh, they no. definitely don't have souls. Oh, I fell for this one. <laughs> They're dead to me. <laughs> I got cancelled over vampires. 